Thank you for watching WTXL ABC 27. Live from the WTXL studios, this is ABC 27's News at Noon. Glad you're with us this midday. I'm Jada Williams. First on midday, a grand jury has indicted a married couple arrested for the murder of a Tallahassee man. Grand jurors returned indictments against Jesse Daquan Price Brown and Terrell Lamar Price Brown for first degree murder and accessory after the fact for the death of Derek Parks. The court document filed December 20th, 2018 says the couple killed Parks on or about July 17th, 2018. Parks' body was found in America's Georgia in September. The couple is being held in the Leon County Detention Center where they were booked after they returned from a jail in Fairfax, Virginia. And new details in a death investigation by the Tallahassee Police Department. Authorities identify the body discovered on the city's south side as 32-year-old Alexandria Nikki Richard. Investigators believe her death was not natural or an accident, but instead they suspect foul play was involved. Police arrived on scene around 5.30 Wednesday night to find Richard's body near a swampy area off of West Orange Avenue. Authorities want people to come forward with any information they have by giving a call at 850-891-4200. And to the story we first brought to you last night, Swanee County deputies have identified this man who they say robbed the TD Bank in Live Oak shortly before 4 o'clock Thursday. The sheriff's office shared these pictures of the suspect and his vehicle. The suspect's name has not been released, but we do know Live Oak Police is seeking warrants for the arrest. <laughs> to South Georgia, where we're learning more about the pilot killed in a plane crash in Cook County earlier this week. Investigators say the small single-engine plane took off early Tuesday from the Cook County Airport with just the pilot on board. Wednesday, law enforcement identified that pilot as 56-year-old Larry Buttoff. Local law enforcement is working with the FAA and ST, NTSB to determine what caused the crash. William Clapp was a friend of the pilot and part of the search team. Clapp says Buttoff asked him to go flying with him that very day, but he wasn't able to. As a Christian, I wasn't worried about Larry. Uh, you know, if another Christian would understand what I mean by that. I'm not worried about him. He's taken care of. I'll be okay, too. So we almost go into the mode of, okay, what happened? And then, and also taking care of his family. But off's cause of death has not yet been released. To Mitchell County, where the funeral service was held Thursday for 18-year-old Madison Collier, the young woman killed in a car crash last week in Camilla. Collier was a senior and cheerleader at Pelham High School. She had just received an acceptance letter to her college of choice last Friday, the same morning of the crash. Madison's father, Malcolm Collier, says he was at work when Madison's mom called to tell him the tragic news. I felt something. My heart just dropped because I could hear the pain in her voice. And that's when um, it hit me that something was really wrong, something was bad. Madison's parents started a nonprofit organization in her honor. They say it's an effort to share her kindness and selflessness with others. And a public funeral will be held today for former Florida State University President, Tallahassee Community College President, and Florida House Representative Thomas Kent Weatherall, better known as TK. The service starts at 1 p.m. at FSU's Ruby Diamond Concert Hall, followed by a reception in the Westcott Building. Doors open in minutes. Instead of flowers, the family encourages memorial donations to the Southern Scholarship Foundation Fund at the FSU Foundation. Florida Governor Rick Scott is directing the U.S. and state flags at TCC, FSU, the Leon County Courthouse, City Hall, and the state capitol be lowered to half staff from sunrise to sunset today. <laughs> Leon County is preparing to allow previously convicted felons to register to vote despite Governor-elect Ron DeSantis wanting to hold off on implementing the measure voters approved in November. The Amendment 4 is set to go into effect January 8th. Although voters did approve that measure during the midterm election, Governor-elect Ron DeSantis told the Palm Beach Post earlier this month that this amendment should not take effect without approval by the legislature and his signature. However, Leon County Supervisor of Elections Office still plans to open registration on January 8th. The voter registration application for Florida, the second box you check, it says, I am not a convicted felon, or if I am, my rights have been restored. If somebody checks that box and then signs the oath down at the bottom, 
as a supervisor of election, we work within the four corners of that document, and so we take it at face value. Voting rights will not be restored to those who have been convicted of murder or sexual crimes. It is important for fel felons to contact the clerk of court's office or the Department of Corrections to make sure they've completed all necessary requirements. <laughs> Time is running out to submit your application to fill the vacant Tallahassee Commission seat one. Applications will be accepted at City Hall until 5 o'clock Saturday, December 22nd. That's tomorrow. If you're mailing your application, it must be in by today because City Hall doesn't receive mail on Saturdays. More details on how to apply are posted on our website. That's WTXL.TV. And then on Monday, December 31st, City Commissioners will host a special meeting at 4 p.m. to fill that vacant seat. Now let's check in with our first alert meteorologist, Valerie Mills. Valerie, I know there's going to be a lot of people on the road, so how's it going to look this weekend? Jada, we're looking good, not just this weekend, but for the rest of today. I know we have a little bit of shower activity out there, but it's really just lightly coming down, mainly over in Colquitt, Cook, and Berrien counties in our South Georgia areas. But we are seeing a little bit of that onshore flow continuing down in our eastern areas, down in Dixie County, and we may see that area continue to see some of that onshore flow and a little bit of that shower activity into the afternoon, but in general by this evening, expecting most of that activity to taper off into the overnight hours. The story today is really the winds. We actually have a wind advisory in effect for the entire tri-state region until 7 o'clock tonight. So expecting 15 to 20 mile per hour winds to continue pretty much constantly today with gusts closer to the 40 mile per hour range. So without a lot of that sunshine out there, factor in the wind chill and it is just feeling downright cold and blustery out there. Temperatures only warming up to the lower and mid 50s and in general once we hit the evening hours it's going to be uh, dropping off into the 30s so definitely a chilly night is in store for us the good news is that rain is not in the forecast for our christmas weekend outlook we're going to be warming up to the 50s for today and tomorrow and then hitting the 60s into christmas eve jada thanks valerie for those expecting to hit the roads this weekend for the upcoming holidays, well, you can expect to see more Florida Highway Patrol troopers on the interstate's Ed Major Highways. FHP is joining other law enforcement agencies across the nation for the annual Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over campaign that runs through New Year's Day. Statistics show there were more than 9,000 car accidents during the Christmas and New Year's holiday travel period last year. That's including 106 deaths. With roadways expected to be very busy, FHP... FHP Captain Tom Peichel says people need to follow all traffic laws and get plenty of rest before driving. It's our busiest travel season of the year. We implore you to uh, be patient while you're out on the roads. Uh, know that it's going to take you a little more time to get to your destination with everyone out on the roads and get plenty of rest as well. Captain Peichel also adds that anyone who suspects they see a drunk driver on the road can call Star FHP, that's Star 347, so a trooper can be on the lookout for that car. Meanwhile, more Georgia State Patrol troopers will be out on the interstates and state roads during the Christmas and New Year's holiday as well in an attempt to prevent traffic and encourage safe driving habits. Last year alone, GSP investigated more than 900 crashes that resulted in 488 injuries and 16 deaths during the two holidays. And a fatal pedestrian crash to tell you about in Live Oak, FHP says a 16-year-old boy was hit by a car and died on scene. Authorities say Caleb Underwood was struck by the car around 7 o'clock Monday morning while walking on 76th, 76th Street. FHP says the driver could be facing charges. <laughs> The remaining disaster recovery centers here in Florida will close down temporarily for the holidays. All centers will close at 6 p.m. on Christmas Eve and remain closed until December 26th. They will open back up at 9 in the morning local time. And the following week, the centers will close again on New Year's Eve again at 6 p.m., then reopen on January the 2nd at 9 a.m. <laughs> The House is giving President Donald Trump what he wants after they approve funding for his border wall. But the Senate is opposing this decision as the clock races for a possible government shutdown. And stick around, I'll be talking to Tallahassee Commissioner Curtis Richardson all about Soul Santa. That's coming up after the break.
Planning the right amount of food is hard. The Guestimator makes it easy. Just tell it who's coming and what's for dinner. Then it tells you how much to make. And yes, it even plans for leftovers. Try it at savethefood.com. Wow, check out Captain D's new snacks. Craveable flavor for only $3.49. Dive into fish tenders or butterfly shrimp. All served with delicious hush puppies. Get Captain D's new snacks now. Captain D's, the taste of the coast. Where to go and what to do in Birmingham, Alabama. Personalized just for you. Find your sweet spots at alabama.travel slash sweet spot. Attention business owners, was your business closed or your income reduced by Hurricane Michael? Did your insurance company deny, delay, or lowball your business interruption claim? Don't be victimized twice. Morgan & Morgan has recovered millions of dollars on behalf of business owners who were denied or lowballed for their business insurance claim. If your business was affected by or suffered any damage from the hurricane, visit HurricaneLawyer.com to learn how we can help you. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. Hi, I'm Dr. Bill McFadder. Missing or damaged teeth can affect your health, looks, and confidence. At the Beach and Denture Clinic, we take pride in using the latest techniques to help us provide you the highest level of service. Whether it is dentures, implants, and now all of your dental needs, our professional and courteous staff is here to serve and guide you. We're located between Tallahassee and Thomasville on Highway 319. Give us a call and let's get started. INI is a charitable organization whose mission is to build the capacity and impact of nonprofits through education, collaboration, and advocacy. Start your year with some power networking at Nonprofit After Dark, Thursday, January 17th at the Island Wing Company. Connect with area leaders who are passionate in creating a thriving nonprofit community. To learn how you can help area nonprofits thrive, visit myinni.org or call 850-201-9766. Celebrate with Captain D's Family Meals. Treat your family to the Fish Family Meal or the Butterfly Shrimp Platter. Perfect for sharing and dipping. Be a holiday hero with Captain D's Family Meals. Captain D's, the taste of the coast. Titan Doppler Radar is sponsored by Row Roofing. The clock is ticking down to a possible government shutdown in just days before Christmas. House Republicans voted on Thursday to approve a bill to fund President Donald Trump's $5.7 billion demand for a border wall. But it won't make its way to the president's desk unless the Senate gets on board. Several Democrats are against funding the border wall with taxpayers' money. More than 800,000 federal workers could be impacted if a resolution is not reached before funding expires at midnight tonight. And an arrest has been made in the case of a missing Colorado mom. Patrick Frazee, the fiancé of missing Woodland Park mom Kelsey Barrett, was taken into custody at his home in Teller County Friday morning. Frazee is being charged with first-degree murder after deliberation, according to court documents. Barrett was last spotted on surveillance video with their one-year-old daughter at a Safeway in, Wood in Woodland Park on Thanksgiving. Her cell phone pinged about 800 miles away in Idaho on November 25th. And happening today, the Kearney Center is hosting a memorial service for all of the homeless men and women that have died this year. This is happening across the country for National Homeless Persons Memorial Day. It falls on December 21st, the first day of winter and the longest night of the year, to recognize the challenges the homeless face on a daily basis. Everyone is invited to attend at the Kearney Center tonight at 6. <laughs> Well, some people really go all out putting up Christmas lights like Clark Griswold in the movie Christmas Vacation. WTXL's Blake Levine shows us what it takes to get the light show off the ground. Power, um, our, our normal bill is about 100 a month. Um, this takes up to about 600, 650 a month. A childhood dream is now reality. Daniel Allison has his Christmas Spectacular. Every year since 2008, Allison has brought the holiday spirit to Sandy Creek Road in Havana. While he loves what he does, the project requires a lot of work. We start in August, <laughs> so it takes about four or so months to get everything up. I kept a log one year and it took 
easily over 100 hours. And this display isn't just lights. Music and motion are factors as well. Allison says it takes eight hours to program the lights to dance for just one minute. This year's Spectacular has a six-song playlist that lasts 22 minutes. And if you do the math, it takes 176 hours to make this amazing display. The amount of time, however, never stops Allison. We also add a lot of more strobes. Those lights that flash really fast, so we love those. That adds that extra sparkle to the light show. All that work is also familiar to the creator of Bainbridge's annual Lights Along the River. This year, Julie Harris says Hurricane Michael put an extra strain on construction. Setting up and how much time it takes to set up, that was a breeze compared to getting the road cleaned up. Um, the road was completely impassable. A breeze once things were set up. But even after construction is finished, taking care of the lights is no walk in the park. I check every single night to see that everything is operational because we have spotlights that go out and just things that happen. All the work, both Allison and Harris say is worth it to bring some extra Christmas spirit to their communities. Blake Levine, WTXL, ABC 27. Well, how about that? Both of those shows are open each night until New Year's Eve. Definitely something that you don't want to miss. out there over our first alert florida state weather stem camera mostly cloudy skies is going to continue to be the story throughout the day today we're going to start to see this cloud debt breaking up into the overnight time frame so luckily we're looking at a much sunnier setup for our weekend plans for today though it is certainly feeling chilly out there we have mostly mid 40s on the board in north in south georgia they've had a lot more cloud cover down there whereas at the coast starting to creep into the lower 50s 55 over in perry 48 here in the capital city and we're not going to be doing a whole lot of warming today the rain is luckily holding off of the forecast it's the winds that we're going to be talking about today we have a wind advisory in effect for the entire tri-state region until seven o'clock tonight expecting 15 to 20 mile per hour winds to continue on and off and those gusts closer to 40 miles per hour. So right now we are seeing gusts closer to the 30 mile per hour range down at the coast and in the lower 20s, a little bit more in South Georgia. So definitely feeling breezy out there. And once you factor in the overcast skies, the chilly temperatures and that wind chill, well, it is definitely feeling cold and it's gonna be feeling even chillier as we approach the overnight time frame. Temperatures expected to fall to the 30s. But the good news is, is that the rain is gonna be holding off on us. We had some shower activity around this morning but that is quickly tapering off. Right now it's just lingering around in our South Georgia counties. But by the later afternoon hours, I'm expecting most of that to continue pushing towards the north and the east. And the only area that I think we'll continue to see a little bit of that pesky shower activity through the afternoon is down in our eastern Big Bend areas. But other than that, we are looking at a mostly dry setup for our evening plans. So don't worry about having the rain gear if you're planning on going out. But as you can see, across the East Coast, lots of wet weather. We had the rainy part of this front yesterday. So now all of that's pushing into North Georgia and into the Carolinas. But you can really see the flow around this system. And I think our eastern areas, with respect to where all this flow is, that's an area that's going to be a favorable setup for a little bit more of that shower activity. But this color that you see draped across our screen, that is drier air in the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere. That's filtering in behind the cold front that brought us all the rainy weather. So this is going to be set up across our area this weekend, which means we are not looking at rain in the forecast for the next several days. So as this front really continues pushing up towards the north and the east, the effects, its effects on us are going to lessen. So we're going to have this colder air really pushing in. We're already feeling it out there today. We're going to continue to see it on hand for tomorrow. And as it does so, we're going to see high pressure start to slide in off of the Gulf Coast. And that's going to situate over our area. So that's also going to help limit any showers from forming over the next few days. As I mentioned, though, the story for today is those breezier conditions. If you've been outside, you've certainly felt them. We're seeing anywhere between 15 to 20 mile per hour winds pretty much constantly. And as we approach the night time frame, I'm expecting to see even more of those gustier conditions. So keep that in mind. If you are planning on heading out, you may not think 50s are chilly. Factor in the wind chill, though, and it's definitely feeling closer to the 40s as we approach the overnight time frame starting to really see that cloud deck recede so as you're waking up tomorrow morning expecting a mostly sunny setup and that's going to be the story for the next few days so it is looking like a good christmas weekend outlook warming up only to the 50s again tomorrow but once we slide into sunday and into the christmas eve time frame getting back into a more normal pattern with temperatures in the mid 60s now we do have a small craft advisory in effect for our offshore waters so keep that in mind if you're planning on heading out there jada thanks val
Christmas is almost here, and that means a special visit from Soul Santa. And here to mm -hmm. talk about Soul Santa with me is Tallahassee Commissioner Curtis Richardson. Thank you for joining us, Commissioner. Thank now, you, Jada, for having me. Of course. And congratulations to you on your first noonday broadcast. Well, thank you. You're doing thank a great you. job. So there's Santa, yes. and then there's Soul Santa. Soul Santa. So tell me a little bit about Soul Santa. Well, Soul Santa is uh, more culturally specific, if you will. Uh, and it's for uh, children and families, primarily in our, some of our African-American communities uh, throughout the city. Uh, the 4th Avenue Recreation Center in the Frenchtown community and, of course, Walker Ford uh, near the Bond community. But it's for all children and families through, from throughout the community to make the season brighter uh, for everyone throughout the city of Tallahassee. So what can these families expect when they come to hang out with Soul Santa? Well, what they're going to see today at 4th Avenue, because of the weather, and I was so glad to hear that optimistic weather forecast because it hasn't treated us too well this winter season during our activities. But Santa and Mrs. Claus, who will accompany him, will arrive by helicopter, uh, and they will land on the field across from the 4th Avenue Recreation Center. And all of the boys and girls up to age 10 uh, will be presented gifts by Santa and Mrs. Claus uh, on the stage at the uh, Recreation Center across the street. So I know they're going to be excited, uh, and we just want to make this holiday season be as warm and festive uh, for as many children and families as our, in our community as possible, Jada. So Soul Santa comes in on a helicopter. On a helicopter. I can imagine that the kids and the families are unbelievably excited when they see that. They are. I'm sure they're probably already there getting prepared for it. It starts at 2 o'clock this afternoon uh, and at Walker Ford tomorrow from 10 to 2. Uh, and so we're just excited about it. And um, I want to also give a shout out to Steve Beasley and the Martin Luther King Jr. Foundation. They have been our partners in this. Uh, for a number of years now, in addition to all of the great uh, uh, businesses across town that have donated toys, uh, Walmart, and a whole lot of others to make this event possible for our young people. Uh, and I also want to thank Ashley Edwards and all of the staff of Neighborhood Affairs and, and Parks and Recreation because they have done a tremendous job making this possible. All right, well, there you have it. Soul Santa is coming up. Yes. It's today and also this weekend. So if you're looking for some Christmas fun, right. there you have it. Yes. We'll stick around. We'll have a final look at the forecast after the break. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity. Call 1-800-653-9090 today. And do what you love online with this special offer on Xfinity Internet for only $19.99 a month for 12 months. Xfinity delivers the Internet speed you need to surf, stream, and download. Plus, with Norton Security Online, your family will get advanced online protection, and it's included at no additional cost. Call 1-800-653-9090 today and get speed, security, and value from Xfinity for an amazing price. Xfinity delivers reliably fast internet speed and the best in-home Wi-Fi experience. Get started today with this amazing deal on Xfinity Internet for just $19.99 a month for 12 months. It's all backed by our 30-day money-back guarantee, so it's risk-free. Get the speed you need and the savings you want with this special offer today. Call 1-800-653-9090. That's 1-800-653-9090. Xfinity, the future of awesome. You eat healthy, take statins, but still struggle to lower your LDL bad cholesterol. You also have heart disease and fear a heart attack or stroke could strike without warning, pulling you away from everything you love. Because with high LDL, your risk of a heart attack or stroke is real. Now you can reduce that risk with Repatha. Repatha plus a statin dramatically lowers your LDL bad cholesterol by 63% and is proven to significantly drop your risk of having a devastating heart attack or stroke. Do not take Repatha if you're allergic to it. Repatha may cause serious allergic reactions. Signs include redness, severe rash or itching, swollen face or trouble breathing. Most common side effects include runny nose, sore throat, common cold symptoms, flu or flu-like symptoms, back pain, high blood sugar, and redness, pain, or bruising at the injection site. Don't let a heart attack or stroke come between you and everything you love. Tell your doctor you're ready to lower your LDL and reduce your risk for real with Repatha. Pay no more than $5 per month with the Repatha copay card. Did you know you could get life insurance for less than 32 cents a day? 
With guaranteed acceptance, whole life insurance through TrueStage, you can get up to $25,000 in protection with a single phone call. TrueStage can help free your family from immediate financial stress when you're gone. Utility bills, mortgages, car payments, those are a lot of things that can add up pretty fast. And even if you're on a fixed income, prices fit your budget, starting at less than 32 cents a day. Plus, your price will never increase and your benefit will never decrease. And with no medical tests or health questions, you cannot be turned down for any reason. Call 1-800-810-7968. Now, for a free, no-obligation quote, True Stage offers plans to fit your budget. Help protect your family from immediate financial burdens after you're gone with guaranteed acceptance whole life insurance through True Stage. Call 1-800-810-7968. Now, download the WTXL First Alert weather app today. One last look at First Alert Titan Radar. Just a little bit of shower activity right now in Cook and Berrien counties, but that is pretty fastly moving towards the north and the east. So if you're catching a little bit of rain right now, don't worry, it is moving out of your area. And unlike yesterday, no more rain is moving in, expecting rain to start tapering off in the afternoon. And you're not gonna have to deal with that this evening. And it is feeling chilly out there, cloudy conditions and very breezy as we've been mentioning. But luckily as we approach this weekend, we are looking at a mostly sunny setup. Temperatures in the 50s today and tomorrow, but warming up to the 60s. Yeah, take a look at next week. That's amazing. Perfect for Christmas, right? Well, thank you for joining us. That's all for Midday. Make better sleep a resolution you can keep and get a free memory foam pillow during Mattress One's New Year's Sale. Buy a queen-size mattress for a twin price. Mattress One has 20 mattresses under $599. Save $500 on a Sealy Firm mattress just $299 and get a free memory foam pillow with any mattress purchase. Plus free delivery setup and removal and 0% APR for five years with equal payments. Visit MattressOne.com to find a store near you. This busy holiday season, you're covered with holiday bonus scratch-offs from the Florida Lottery, featuring more than 17.5 million winning tickets. Holiday bonus scratch-offs from the Florida Lottery. It's your ticket. Claim it! If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $5,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to virtually eliminate your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you could save, call now. 1-800-906-3981. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes, and we could save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk. Credit Associates. Live better, debt-free. Find out how easy it is by calling now. For the secret the credit card companies don't want you to know, call Credit Associates now and see how much money you could save for free. Call 1-800-906-3981. The following is based on reality. You may be offended. When you fall and cannot get up, an accident can turn into a tragedy. With Life Alert, one touch of a button can get you help fast. This is Life Alert. I'm calling for help right now. With any of Life Alert's three emergency systems, help can be summoned immediately. And batteries never need charging. Life Alert saves a life from a catastrophe every 11 minutes. For a free Life Alert brochure, call 1-800-393-5304. That's 1-800-393-5304. Call now, 1-800-393-5304. Has anxiety kept you away from the dentist? Well, here at Beechton Dental Center, Dr. Valerie Dozier and her team will provide you with a relaxing and stress-free experience, as relaxing as a day at the beach. A smile is your gift to the world, and we can help you wear it proudly. Stop by Beechton Dental Center or call us today and ask about our new patient special and extended hours. Let's get started. 
She was stalking you through the ceiling. On the wall, listening. How can you tell that through a wall? Yeah, trust no, me. No, 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 I can't trust you. I'm not trusting you. Judge Judy. Tonight at 7.30 on ABC 27.